just in time for cocktail hour. You are a credit to the poor Saunders and a true patron of the arts. You know, Vic, as I told the wife how you promised me a cut of the uh, profits if I got you all this fancy stuff, and she said she never heard of any musical called Prisoners of Love. What in the world are you talking... Oh, right. Uh, that's because it hasn't opened yet. And it never will. You're a real piece of work, Vickers. Well, what can I say? Everybody loves showbiz. I want this cell stripped back to regulation and every bit of this contraband removed. No, no, you see, you can't do that because I've grown, I have grown accustomed to a certain standard of living. My system will go into shock if I'm forced to live in squalor and despair. You're really breaking my heart. I didn't know you had one. Do you want to know why I'm here? Oh, I guess that means that this is not a social visit. Because I have a deal for you, if you're smart enough to take it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Kelly, you made it. I wouldn't have missed it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Joe, are you going to be staying for Dorian's welcome home party, too? Actually, jo um, Joey was just dropping me off. Oh, well, you know what? That reminds me. Miss Chikwamani said that she was going to have Star here by the time the party started. Well, she's probably waiting for you in the lobby. I'll go with you. I'm okay. supposed to call Briggs anyway. Mother's running a little late. Will you hold down the fort while... Yes. Okay. No problem. Well, I had, um, best be going. Oh, come on. Your grandfather's wedding doesn't start for another 20 minutes. Stay a little longer. Uh, you know, Dorian is coming, and I just don't want to be here. It might be a little awkward. You heard Cassie. She is running late, okay? Please stay. I cannot stand it when you're not around. Uh-uh. Don't say. Mm. Well, I do kind of feel the same way, and you... <laughs> It's really good in this little jacket. Thank you. So good, as a matter of fact. I'm thinking about climbing in there with you. <laughs> mm. oh, this is a bad idea. Nice to meet you. What a handsome man you are. Thank you. he takes after his daddy. Uh -huh. yes, hey, Pa, uh -huh. you hanging in there? I'm fine, Bo, but my bride-to-be better got to move on. She's got to get dressed. Hey, so we have plenty of time. I can't help it, honey. I mean, you just got the divorce from Hester, and I think it's time we tied it out again and make it official. Oh. Oh, hi, honey. Yeah. Come on oh, in. Jessica, my maid of honor. Why here. not the pal? <laughs> I can't get this show on the road. Oh, sweetheart, you look beautiful. Well, since everybody is waiting for the wedding, honey, if you could just tell Nigel to put the tape in, I'll go upstairs and get changed. I would. If I could find him. Oh. Well, the last time I saw him, he, he was in his hotel room in the Caribbean, and then I got a message saying that you wanted him to come home early. Uh-huh. Who gave you the message? to get back to help Asia. Well, the person that gave me the message didn't speak English very well, so I must have misunderstood it. All right, Alex. Look, we better get going with this wedding. We didn't give Hester a chance to mess things up. Go on up, honey, get dressed. All right. I took a jaunt to San Domenico. I saw my ex-wife. I even managed to get rid of that bizarre butler of theirs for a little while. <laughs> well, in case you've forgotten, the only reason Alex went down there in the first place was to divorce you. Having done that in a very short while, she'll be happily married to Mr. Asa Buchanan. RJ, happiness, like sorrow, is totally relative.
<laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Hi. Hello. Um, <laughs> gosh, I, did, I, I didn't expect you. Cassie said you were going to be late. Yes, I thought I was going to be, but I'm not. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hello, Dorian. Oh, so? My gosh, how was your cruise? Yeah, you look great. Thank you. It was wonderful. It really was. It was uh, exactly the kind of escape I needed. Uh, well, I better be going to that wedding before my grandfather disowns me. He'll, uh, excuse me, um, pick you up later. Okay. Bye. Bye, Joe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, this is strange. I, I mean, um, it seems like forever since I haven't seen you. I, you know, before the kidnapping, and then afterwards you, you left town so quickly. Yes, well, once I knew that you were all right, I... Honey, I, I just don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to you. Come here. Well, hey, hey, I'm wait sure. a minute. You better save oh. some for us. Please. We both missed you so much. Oh, and little star. Oh, you're so Say hello to Do you? Oh, I made her cry. Oh, well, there's my baby. Oh. Hello, darling. Oh. oh, I missed you so much. In fact, you know, until this very moment, I didn't realize how homesick I've been. Gosh, you all look gorgeous. Come on, let's sit down. Oh, that includes you, Star. Oh, come on, tell me everything. And I do mean everything that has been going on since I've been gone. Well, uh, you know about my new job at The Sun. Yes, <laughs> I heard. I just think that's so wonderful. I am so proud of you. And you, Blair, what a coup. I understand oh, that you're yeah. mopping the floor with the banner. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and stars never looked stronger, healthier. Yeah. And you, Kelly, you're absolutely blooming. I am. You don't look so bad yourself, Mother. Yeah, are you sure all you did was rest on that little cruise, Dorian? Not exactly. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I did something rather wonderful. Well, are you going to tell us what it was? <laughs> and... Bo, I want you to do me a favor. Call down to Santa Domenico. Talk to the chief constable or somebody. See if you can find out what happened to poor Nigel. All right, I'll see what I can do, Pa. Thank you. Oh, Kevin, I'm real glad you could come. Come on in. Did I miss anything? No. Andrew here's got his instructions. Hey, he's going to start the wedding rolling as soon as Alex makes a grand entrance. Uh, exactly how grand are we talking? Is she going to try to top the Cleopatra barge? Oh, I don't think so, Clint. Oh. I'm gonna slip my mind. I got a tape to run. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, just remember your promises. No surprises, Asa. And that means no barges, no Egyptian cryptic mythology, and absolutely no severed body parts. Straight book of common prayer, right? Whatever you say, Padre. As long as it's legal and fast. Loosen your collar. You people stay put. First wedding sounds like a trip. I wish I could have been here. <laughs> well, that's why you should get down on your knees and thank the Egyptian god Osiris that you weren't. <laughs> uh, since uh, this second time around is kind of a, a no-frills affair, Alex thought that you might enjoy reliving the grandeur and the spectacle of our first wedding. So if you'll turn your attention to this screen, Were you uh, 
able to take care of that matter we discussed. <laughs> hey, it was a Texas-sized problem, but I'm sure you'll be more than satisfied with the result. Hey, even the inmates on death row get a radio. Vickers, you want to hear the deal or don't you? Yeah, I'm listening. All right, here it is. If you plead guilty to all the charges against you in the Victor Lord murder case, including forgery of Irene Manning's diary, I'll do everything I can to get you a lighter sentence. No way. Come on, think about it. Not Vickers. The charges against you in the Lord family case alone are worth years. And then, well, you've got the kidnapping of Kelly Kramer. Oh, no, you see, that charge was never filed against me because Kelly said it was just a misunderstanding, remember? Yes, I do remember. I'm still a little curious as to why she backed off. But until Dorian gets back and I talk to her, that case remains wide open. Excuse me. Hey, that's my steak. Come on, come on. Now, look, wise up, would you? If we convict you of kidnapping along with all the other charges, I guarantee this cell will look real nice compared to what you're going to get at Statesville. What do you care? I don't care. I'm just trying to save the state some money by not taking this case and your sorry butt to court. Oh, it always comes down to money and my butt, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I love a man with a good sense of humor. You're going to need it. Do us both a favor. Vickers, why don't you prove that you're smarter than I think you are? Hey, Dorian, the suspense is killing us. Tell us. Excuse me, Mrs. Lord, you have a phone call from New York at the front desk. Ooh. Oh, oh New York. Well, I really hey. do have to take this. Oh, oh sure, you, you do. Stop. Well, well, all of you knock it off. Something <laughs> or someone has put her in a very good mood. Well, you can say that again. Listen, I saw her today for the first time in the lobby, and I was a little nervous because of Joey. But she was totally cool. Wait a minute, are you and Joey an official item? Well, they better be. He just took her to Paris. You're kidding! Okay, how was it? Like a total fairy tale. Oh! I can tell that you're nuts about him. And he's nuts about her, too. Oh, young love. <laughs> I remember it well. Yeah, <laughs> we're not that young. Oh. Okay. In fact, <laughs> it looks like I am going to be moving in with Joey at the carriage house. No, You're going to be great. moving in with him? That's great. Yes. It's not like we haven't done it before. No, but not as lovers. Are you sure? Easy. Yes, I am positive. It's going to be perfect. I think it's romantic. Oh. We are going to be living in total... It's all right, Kelly. Really. You don't have to protect me. I sense to... A long, long time ago, what was happening between you and Joe. But when I left for my cruise, I decided I was going to be leaving the past behind me. Yes, my dears, as I stood on the deck, looking out at the sun setting in the horizon, I said to myself, mm, I know exactly what I've got to do. And so I did it. About time you showed up, Joey. I'm sorry I'm late, Grandpa. I had to uh, drop Kelly off somewhere first. Oh, so that's where you're spending all your time now. You just can't sniff around those creamers enough, can you? I... But at least it's not that Dory and the old pro. No, actually, no. Kelly and I just got back from Paris. You and Kelly went to Paris. Well, must be nice, Mr. Big Bucks. True. Well, your car dried. I'll throw you some loose change. Yes, sir. Hey, speaking of Paris, what was the fallout on that Buchanan oil tanker that ran across? Cord, you finally got here. Come on in, join the rest of the bunch. Good to see you. Hello, how are you? Hey, welcome to your arm. Uh, well, I sprained my arm playing a little handball, that's oh. all. Since when do you play handball? Well, it looked like a handball. Yeah, I'm gonna hey, go man. find Bo. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You look adorable. Very handsome. Thank you. You do, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in there. <laughs> I 
getting so big. Oh, don't remind me. I'm dreading the day when they're old enough to be on their own. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little tough letting go sometimes. Oh, Nora. Yeah. Any word about Rachel? No. No. Hank and I call each other about every hour and commiserate, and then we hang up and keep hoping. It's amazing how well you two get along after the divorce. Well, what about you in court? My goodness, I don't know married people who get along as well as you two. I can't believe his arm. Oh, I, I know. I, yeah. I've never heard of anybody really slipping on a banana peel. I thought it was a handball court. I mean, I thought it was you know, a handball. Oh, uh, well, actually, it was a um, uh, banana peel on a handball court. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Hey, guys, I know where, I bet I know where you want to go. The, the playroom! playroom! Can we, can we, please? Uh, guess what? I'll take them there. Oh. Really? You sure? No. Oh, anything to keep from watching Alex go down the aisle, Nile again. Come here, or the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of close there, wasn't it? Oh. Well, I, you know, we got to get our story straight before one of us slips and tells what really happened. Oh, Tina, who's really going to believe the truth anyway? I mean, how many men do you know fall off the couch making love to their ex-wife? Well... I don't know, but that's beside the point. You know, we shouldn't have been making love in the first place, I agree. right? I agree. So I think we should take this as a sign and just stop the madness. Uh, I agree with that, too, Tina. You do? You're sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Well, good. Then it's settled. Where do we go from here? My place? No, uh, no. Joke. <laughs> Good question. Where do we go from here? This wedding is going to be so different. Elegant. Simple. Perfectly befitting the mayor of Landview. What did you wear when you married Mr. Hester? Actually, I, I, I wore black lace. It was a much darker, different, dangerous time in my life. I've changed a lot since then. What about when you were younger? I mean, was it a dangerous time then? Did you get into a lot of trouble? Why? Me and Chris skipped school. And we took Joy's car and we crashed it up. Oh, my goodness, honey. Are you all right? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just that uh, my parents don't know yet. Oh. I mean, I, I'm already in trouble because I'm not even supposed to see Chris. But it's just that if they find out about the rest of it, I'll be grounded for life. Do you think I should tell them? Absolutely not. You see, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. Oh, thank you, Alex. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. Oh, believe me, I do. Well, then, um, do you think you could do me a favor? Bo, any word on Nigel? I just talked to police in San Domenico. It seems your uh, loyal servant, Nigel, was arrested for trying to smuggle native artifacts uh, out of the country. Nigel? Why the hell would he do a thing like that? I don't think he did it, Pa. You think he was set up? That's exactly what I think. Hessa. That slime ball. What? What? Oh, okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. What? I finished my book. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. That's <laughs> terrific, Mother. Dorian, oh. you said that you wanted to put the past behind you. Now, why do you want to dredge up all that old garbage about you and Victor Lord? I didn't, darling. That's the surprise. This isn't the memoir that I plan to write. Ah. It's something very, very special. It's a work of fiction. You see, I've discovered there's this mysterious voice inside my head that's just bursting to tell stories. Uh, when do we get to read it? Oh, uh, hopefully soon. But 
I just talked to my publisher, Arthur Vandenberg, on the phone, and he's on his way down from New York so that we can discuss it. I'll guarantee you one thing, though. This book is going to turn heads. Well, I, for one, am glad it is not based on fact, because my little star has enough to deal with being Todd Manning's daughter. She doesn't need to deal with any stigma from any of us notorious Kramer women. Speak for yourself. Look, I think for my daughter's sake that we all should do everything that we can do to clean up the Kramer reputation and be scandal-free. Really? Mm-hmm. Scandal-free? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, maybe you could explain to me why you have gotten involved with a hideous viper like Carlo Hesser? Now, the connections have been made, and don't worry, I hired one of the best wiring men in the business. Now, all you have to do is press. <laughs> that ought to do it. Please excuse Jessica Buchanan as she was on a special mayoral assignment for the city of Landview. Sincerely, the Honorable Alexandra Buchanan. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank Any you. Any of food, Art. And don't forget this one for Christian. Oh, thank you. Oh, she was the best. Well, be careful. <sighs> but remember, sometimes what people don't know won't hurt them. Except when it comes to your husband. Now, what do you think you're doing up here? You know it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. This is my ninth time at that, honey. <laughs> How much worse can my luck get? <laughs> Listen, I'd, I'd better go. Thank you, Alex. Anytime, honey. Mm. Good luck, Grandpa. <laughs> I'll need it. You talk about luck. We found Nigel. Of course, I had to buy off a judge to get him out of jail. Jail? Yes. My guess and Bo's, too, that Snake Hesse was behind it. Are you sure, Alex, he wasn't down there in San Domenico? I told you that he wasn't with me. I didn't see him. Honey, don't you think that if he wanted to stop the divorce or the wedding, he would have done it by now? We are not married yet. And we won't be if you don't get out of here and let me get dressed. I'm leaving. There's just something I gotta do before I go. Come here, you beautiful thing. <laughs> you said you wanted coverage in every room. Are you sure you want to be watching this? great motivator. Say, those sheets are pure silk, you sot. All right, Gannon, no deal. You're gonna turn down a plea bargain because you lost your sheets? I want my day in court. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I was an innocent insurance salesman who came to town with Irene Manning's diary to clear Dorian's name, and she caught me in her snare. Always the victim, huh? Yeah, well, whatever works, you know? Besides, why should I suffer while, while Dorian and her innocent little niece get off scot-free? And what if Dorian comes back and convinces Kelly to press charges against you after all? Well, then I'll just have to blow the lid off of Kelly Kramer's sweet young thing act and prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that she deliberately tried to commit murder. And when I'm done, there won't be a jury in this state who will hold me accountable for my actions. Big mistake, Vickers. Oh, not as big as the one the Kramer girls will make if they come after me. is vile, and he is using you to help clean up his blood-stained image. No, Dorian, I am using him. 
to sell papers, and it is working, all thanks to your daughter's top-notch reporting. The Sun circulation figures have been sky high ever since we've run the exclusive Carlo Hesse Returns from the Dead. Thank you very much. He is not some two-bit con man like David Vickers. Uh, he is a very dangerous man. And, and speaking of David, dearest, I had several messages from Hank Gannon while I was away saying he's very upset, dear, that you are refusing to press charges against David for kidnapping you. Would you tell me why? Ah, so where is Kelly anyway? Don't most girls get into weddings? Yeah, she had another event to attend to, you know, family stuff. Ah. So it looks like I'm going to be seeing more of the two of you when school starts. Hmm. Why's that? Well, I'm going to give Landview University a try. Well, it was actually Kelly's idea, but and I have to admit, she had a big part in my decision. Major Babe factor, you know. Mm. Yeah. Well, in case you hadn't noticed, that Major Babe is Major spoken for. You might want to think about Major backing off. <laughs> hey, no major problem, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> Friends and my family, it is showtime. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to witness you and think, to... Don't you think they know that? I'm warning you, Asa, really. I'm, I'm We've warning. been all through that, some of us eight times. Come on, Andy, cut to the chase. The chase? Yes, the vows. You know I do, she does. Kiss the bride, oh. cut the cake. Okay, fine. Alexandra, do you take this man to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Mr. Mullaney, it's time. Go. Kelly, did David or did he not kidnap you? Did I or did I not pay him a ransom, which of course he kept for only two minutes? Yes, I was kidnapped. But that was after I tried to kill him. What? I didn't mean to. Look, David was chasing me around that stupid motel room, and I couldn't stand it. I went crazy. So in order to try to stop him, I hit him over the head with this lamp. I knocked him out cold. The only thing is, I thought he was dead. I dragged him into the woods, and I buried him. Uh, alive? I didn't mean to do it. So, Kelly, everything David said that evening was true. Why didn't you tell anybody? Hello? I was scared. I knew it could come out in court and that I'd probably be, like, locked up for life. But when he said that he, he, he would let it go if I didn't testify about the stupid kidnapping, I said, okay. I went along with it. Wow! We can certainly rely on David to keep his word. Lord knows he never has before. This is not good. If David goes to trial, then he could accuse Kelly of attempted murder. And then he could get one of his sleazebag lawyers to say she was just following in her family's footsteps, Dorian. Well, we're not going to let that happen, right? We are certainly not going to let that happen. No, 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 no. There must be some way that we can control our own PR. The, the Buchanans do that all the time, don't they? And it works. Hasn't Alex proved that by going from mobster mall to, to mayor at the drop of a hat? Well, we Kramers can yield the same power. That's what Todd always wanted, to be so powerful that scandal couldn't touch us. And that's what I want for Star, and I think all, for all of us. We just have to figure out a way to keep your little ex-husband's mouth shut. Mm. I know exactly what I have to do. 
But first, let me propose a toast. Mm. To the Kramer women. Mm. Folks, I'd like to propose a toast. First is Buchanan's. We've all had our setbacks every now and then, but somehow we always manage to end up on top of the heap. To my beautiful new bride. I guess number nine is the charm. Everybody drink up. Alex, honey, we did it. We are married. Carlo Hester's out of your damn life for good. You are all mine. Why shouldn't we fight back? The sun is kicking our butts on a daily basis with these Carlo Hesser exclusives. <clears throat> Look, son, I, uh, I told you before, your ideas are always welcome. But you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. You're not running the newspaper. Not yet. All I'm saying is, if the son wants to keep on playing up this Carlo Hesser redemption, then we should counter with our own exclusives, the dark side of Carlo Hesser. We go into details about his ugly past. We raise suspicions about how he was involved in that bombing attempt. We can even make a reference how he was brought downtown for questioning that night. And we don't let up. We run with it. Expose after expose. Now that's going to bring back readers. You know, Clint, uh, information or coverage like that could help smoke out information that could link Carlo to Poseidon. We can't forget what he tried to do to Pa. Well, I see I'm outnumbered here. Uh, all right, we'll go for it. We'll uh, give the fella what he deserves. <laughs> all right, now we're talking. See? Do you realize how much I loathe those men? <laughs> I've got a pretty good idea. God laugh, you amateur buffoons. Your empire is about to open its doors to the hounds of hell. Mr. Robert, you have a phone call. The man said it was urgent. Uh, thank you very much. We'll have to get together again real soon. Definitely. Hey, where are you staying? With my, my dad and Nora. Oh, that won't do. Yeah. Hey, why don't you move in with us? We got plenty of room, right, Joey? Oh, actually, well, actually can we not... Joey's already invited me, so... Hey, well, super. It it's all settled, great. then. Great. But it wasn't me. If you... That was Elliot in Galveston. There was a fire that caused an explosion in one of our refineries. Damn, what next? They know the cause. No, no, they don't, but it's bad. He said, he said you can see the flames for 100 miles. I have to get on there right now. Hey, so what are you talking about? You're no, not going to fight me on this cord. You lose. Hey, so Folks, I had an emergency business problem. I'm going to have to leave town. I thank you all for coming. What's the problem? Down, boy. There's no story here. But what happened, Lisa? You're not going. The main refinery in Galveston. Caught on fire and blew up. Oh. I've got to go. No, honey, not tonight. It's our wedding night. It's our honeymoon. Honey, I'll take a rain check. I love you. Oh, sweetheart. That's right, ma'am. It happened at a Buchanan refinery near Galveston. I thought the sun would be interested. <laughs> Never you mind who's talking. That's right, little lady. Bye. Let's go up to bed. 
Come on, Saunders, have a heart. I'll get you tickets opening night. Poor David. Your show closed months ago. Well, look who it is. You look exceptional. Hmm. Please tell me that this is a conjugal visit. You had something else in mind? Well, all I can say is I would love to be a fly on David Vicker's cell wall tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, is the wedding over so soon? Did Alex even get to throw the bouquet? Uh, I don't know. Actually, um... Grandpa Issa got called away on some emergency business thing, had to leave town quite suddenly. Um, honey, you ready to go? Yes. I'll call this home and see if anyone's heard anything. All right, I'll, uh, every chick will money take the star back home and I'll meet her there. See you later. Okay. So, Drew, were you at the wedding too? Yeah, actually, I, he was there, but I just dropped, I'm giving wait, him a Wait, wait, you know, I, 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 I want to be the first to tell you the good news. About what? Well, you know how you were pushing me to, to move in with Joey before? I'm gonna do it. You are? Yeah. But I, I already told Cassie I was moving in with you. Actually, well, you're gonna move? You're moving in too? That's great. The more the merrier. I mean, there's plenty of room, right, Joey? Uh, oh, I am so glad that this has all worked out. believe this. Apparently, an anonymous tip just came into the sun about 15 minutes ago. Apparently, one of the Buchanan's oil refineries in Galveston has a huge explosion. Oh, well, okay, then. Well, you've got to go. Being our top reporter for the sun, you've got to go. You Put want me to go to Texas? On your cowboy boots, okay, i got to call Andrew. No, but... I'll take care of this not any time. I'll just tell him, and he'll understand. All right, tell him I'll call him as soon as I land, all right? Okay. Last shakes. <laughs> Buchanan Empire. Love it. Not bad. Not bad at all. What are you all. doing, Mrs. Manning? Will there be anything else, Mrs. Buchanan? Uh, no, thank you, Sophie. That'll be all. I hope your husband gets back real soon. I'll keep that thought. What did your kids have for dinner last night? It was some chicken.